ओम शांति मुरली डेट सेकेंड जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन एवरी थिंग द ट्रू फादर टेल्स यू इज ट्रू रिमेन ट्रूथफुल टू सच आ ट्रू फादर लेट देर बी नो फॉल्सुड और चीटिंग इन यू क्वेश्चन वॉट कॉन्ट्रास डू यू चिल्ड्रेन अंडरस्टैंड वेरी क्लियरली एट द कॉन्फ्लुएंस आंसर वॉट ब्राह्मीस डू एंड वॉट शुद्रास डू वॉट द पाथ ऑफ नॉलेज इज एंड वॉट द पाथ ऑफ डिवोशन इज वॉट इज द बैटल फील्ड ऑफ ए फिजिकल आर्मी इज एंड वॉट योर बैटल फील्ड इज Only you children understand all of these contrasts. No one else understands the contrast between the golden age and the iron age. Song, mother, O oh mother, you are the bestower of fortune for all. Om Shanti. This is the praise of the mothers of Bharat. There is the praise of the supreme father the supreme soul shiva the praise of only one mother is not enough just one mother cannot do anything definitely a whole army is needed how can anything happen without a whole army of them shiv baba is only one if it were not for the one there couldn't be the mothers there couldn't be the children and so there would not be any brahma kumaris or kumars the majority is of mothers this is why the mothers are praised the mothers of bharat the ones who are the incognito shiv Shakti army are non-violent as well. They do not commit any type of violence. There are two types of violence. One is to use the sword of lust, and the other is a physical violence such as shooting, getting angry, killing, etc. At this time. all physical armies commit both types of violence nowadays they even teach women how to use guns etc those mothers are of a physical army whereas these mothers are of the divine community of the spiritual army they learn how to do drill etc you perhaps would never have gone on to a battlefield they make a lot of effort they even indulge in the vice of lust there are scarcely any women there who do not get married they learn a great deal in that military even young children are taught that is an army and this too is an army a great many details of the armies have been written in the gita however only you know what happens in reality how incognito you, you are what the shiv shakti army does and how you become the masters of the world this is called the place of battle your battle field is incognito this stage is called the battle field previously women did not go on to a battle field it can be compared to everything here there are women in both armies but the majority there is of men whereas the majority here is of women 
there is this contrast the difference between the path of knowledge and the path of devotion is the last contrast there is nothing of contrast in the golden age baba comes and show the shows the contrast between that which brahmins do and that which shudras do both are here on the battlefield it is not a question of it being in the golden age or the iron age this is a question of the confluence age you pandavas belong to the confluence age whereas the kauravas belong to the iron age they have shown the duration of the iron age to be very long for this reason they do not know what the con- know about the confluence gradually they will come to understand this knowledge through you so it is not only the praise of one mother this is the Sh- shakti army one god is the highest on high and you are the same army of a cycle ago it is your task to change this bharat into the kingdom of divine rulers you understand you first belong to the sun dynasty then you belonged to the moon dynasty and then the merchant dynasty however only those who belonged to the sun dynasty are praised you are making such efforts that you will first go into the sun dynasty heaven the golden age is called heaven the silver age is not called true heaven they even say so and so became a resident of heaven they do not say that a person has gone into the silver age to the kingdom of rama and sita the people of bharat know that the kingdom of shri krishna was in paradise and yet they have taken shri krishna into the copper age human beings don't know what the truth is they have not found the sadguru who tells them the truth you have found one who tells you everything true and makes you truthful he tells you children children don't ever tell lies or cheat nothing of yours will remain hidden whatever type of action someone performs so will be the result the father teaches you good actions no one sin can remain hidden from god and the suffering of karma can be very severe even though this is your last birth you will have to experience punishment because the karmic accounts of many births have to be settled baba has explained how they sacrifice themselves at kashi until life leaves some someone's body and the soul takes his next birth he has to suffer a lot of pain has to be tolerated one type of suffering of karma for sinful actions is that of sickness etc and the other is that of punishment the soul cannot say anything at the time but cries out in distress sinful souls experience punishment here as well as there in the golden age there is no sin there is no court or magistrate 
nor is there any punishment in the jail of a womb. There a womb is like a palace. Krishna has been shown floating on a people leaf in the ocean, sucking his thumb. That refers to the palace of a womb. Children are born in great comfort in the golden age, from the beginning through the middle to its end. There is nothing but happiness. In this world there is nothing but sorrow from the beginning through the middle till the end. You are now studying in order to go to the world of happiness. This incognito army will continue to grow. However, many you show the path to so you will accordingly claim a high status. Effort has to be made for remembrance. The unlimited inheritance you had received has been lost and you are receiving it once again. Both Lokic and Parlokic fathers are remembered at present. In the golden age, only Lokic fathers are remembered. It isn't necessary to remember the Parlokic father because there is nothing but happiness there. This knowledge for the people of Bharat. It is not for those of other religions. However, those who converted to other religions will emerge. They will come and study yoga. You are invited to explain about yoga and so you should prepare yourselves. Explain to them. Have you forgotten the ancient yoga of Bharat? God says, Man Mana Bhav. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul says to the incorporeal children, Remember me and you will come to me. You souls listen through those organs. I, the soul, speak with the support of these organs. I am the father of all. Everyone signs my praise. The almighty authority, the ocean of knowledge, the ocean of happiness, etc. Topics such as these are good. What is the praise of Shiva, the Supreme Soul, and the praise of Krishna? Now, judge for yourselves. Who is the sermonizer of the Gita? This is a very powerful topic. You have to explain this. Tell them that you will not take too much time. Even if they give you one minute, that is sufficient. God says, Man mana bhav, remember me alone, and you will receive the inheritance of heaven. Who said this? The incorporeal supreme soul said this to the Brahmin children through the body of Brahma. They are also known as the Pandava army. You are the guides to take the people on a spiritual pilgrimage. Baba gives such essays. You children think about how to explain these matters in a refined way. Only by remembering the Father will you receive the inheritance of liberation and liberation in life. We are Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. In fact, you are also this, but you have not recognized the Father. 
you children are being made into deities by the supreme father the supreme soul only in bharat was there the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan even if young children were to explain in a loud voice in large gatherings there would be so much influence they would realize only you have knowledge that only you show the path to god the incorporeal supreme soul says o souls remember me and your sins will be absolved while bathing in the gangas and going on pilgrimages etc for birth after birth you have continued to become more impure it is bharat that goes through the stages of ascent and descent the father teaches raj yoga and brings about the stage of ascent that is he makes you into the masters of heaven then maya ravan makes you into the masters of hell so that in the stage of descent birth after birth there is a stage of gradual descent knowledge is the stage of ascent devotion is the age of stage of descent then even they even say that one finds god from doing devotion so surely god gives knowledge he alone is the ocean of knowledge when the sadguru gives the ointment of knowledge the darkness of ignorance is dispelled the one supreme father the supreme soul is the satguru the satguru and not other gurus is praised there are countless gurus but only one satguru he alone is the bestower of salvation the purifier and the liberator you children are now listening to the versions of god by constantly remembering the one you souls will go to the land of peace that is a land of peace the other is a land of happiness and this is a land of sorrow do they not even understand this much only the father comes and purifies the impure world you understand that it is the unlimited father who gives unlimited happiness ravan gives you unlimited sorrow he is the highest enemy no one knows why the kingdom of ravan is known as an impure kingdom the father has now explained the significance of all this the five vices are present in every one which is why the image of ravan with 10 heads are created even scholars and pandits do not know this the father has now explained from when and from how long the kingdom of rama god continues he explains this unlimited history and geography ravan is the unlimited enemy of bharat he has brought about so much misery people have forgotten that bharat was heaven you children now receive shrimat from the father children remember the father alpha and beta the supreme father the supreme soul establishes heaven and then ravan establishes hell you only have to remember the father who establishes heaven 
remain in your households go to wedding etc but when you have time remember the father while performing actions for your livelihood remember the one to whom you are engaged until you go to his home continue to perform actions but don't allow your intellects to forget the father acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children essence for dharana first point in order to become free from punishment settle all your accounts don't hide anything from the true father renounce telling lies and cheating stay on the pilgrimage of remembrance second point just as the father brings benefit to even those who harm you in the same way bring benefit to everyone give everyone the father's true introduction blessing may you make your godly sanskars fruitful by using them and become embodiments of success the children who use their godly sanskars in the task finish their waste thoughts automatically to make something fruitful means to save it or increase it it shouldn't be that you continue to use your old sanskars and keep your godly sanskars in the locker of your intellect many of you have the habit of keeping good things in your cupboards and your money in the banks they have love for old things and continue to use them all the time do not do that here here you have to make everything worthwhile with your thoughts words and powerful attitude and you will then become an embodiment of success slogan the father and i when you have this canopy of protection with you no obstacle can stay in front of you om shanti